Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Courtney and for today I'm going to be doing a tutorial based around this look and if you watch all the way to the end you'll see if you are digging this lip color as much as I am I will show you who makes it and it's pretty fantastic so please watch all the way through to the end um, like and subscribe hit the notification button if you want to um, be notified when my next videos go up and if you have any ideas of content that you'd like to see me do I am I, I love hearing from you and um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so I am starting off, I already prepped my skin with moisturizer and primer and everything like that, and sunscreen. I don't, you have to use so much sunscreen, so I just get um, like a Neutrogena from the drugstore. <laughs> And then you don't have to worry about spending so much money on such a little bottle when you're going to go through that in like a week. So I just put a little bit of MAC Face and Body and I mixed it with the Gloomy Lotion from L'Oreal, which I really like to do. It is a little bit colder because we're getting into the fall months, which I'm so excited about. But my skin is definitely feeling a lot drier. So I don't want to mix, I don't want to have something that has too much coverage and I do want to continue to have that glow even in the winter months just for me I don't like a uh, too matte of a finish because I feel like it shows my age get that on my leg sorry I'm stepping over my nose anyway so Concealers that I usually use are the MAC Studio Finish. They come in the pot. I like them because they are more full coverage, so you don't need as much, and yet it still has very natural finish. I use two colors, one for the darkness to color correct, and then one to lighten up underneath the puff. It is a beautiful day for a motorcycle ride. Mm -hmm. And with just a firm, small brush, I go in with a lighter color and just highlight that area so that in the right lighting it doesn't look as puffy. Okay, so since it is a little bit colder and my skin is a lot drier, I am not going to powder just yet. If I need to, like under the eyes or down the center, I will later, but this will probably set down. I won't need powder. Going in with the Marc Jacobs bronzer in Tantastic. A large fluffy brush. I don't like to use bronzer too traditionally. I don't need to, I don't use it to add a tan look. I just kind of use it to sculpt the face so that I look. Chanel blush number 23 is their cream stick blush. I'm going in with a 188 brush from MAC just because it's nice and fluffy. I like using fluffier brushes for cream products because it tends to give more of an airbrushed effect as opposed to using like a paddle brush that'll be more of like a painted on look. For the eyes, I picked up the Natasha Denona palette. I'm just going to use this dark brown color here. I've been using that every day, but it's such a pretty palette. Ooh, so many beautiful colors. 
I'm just gonna use that for my eyeliner for today because this lip, this look is gonna be more lip and skin focused. I picked up this lip color, please watch the end, it is life changing. I was obsessed with watching Camille Rowe on Inside the Wardrobe for British Vogue and she had on this orange lip. It was like a, a tomato color and I had every, every, we were all like looking around trying to find to match this color and the oranges were either too red or they were too bright or like neon and it wasn't this. It was a color like I've never seen before. So then I tried to find it online and they did say in the comments of that video to try this lip and it was that lip and I am very happy. So I just used a small brush like I typically do. I like a lot of eyeliner just kind of blended underneath. Not too much on top, maybe a little bit in the inner or outer corners. That same palette has this really pretty tan camel color. So just go in with the fluffy brush. Again, just kind of sculpt out the crease of my eye. And there you go. And I also picked up, this is from Lancome. It's a dual finish highlighter. My friend was wearing this and I was like, what is on your face? And she showed them to me. And this one is the wrong one. This one is called Dazzling Bronze. It's so beautiful. So I'm gonna use, this as my highlighter. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone, but since it ha has, my cat since it has uh, that sheen to it it doesn't appear to be too dark she's sitting in my coffee cool. but I won't put as much of this on as I would if the highlighter was a little bit lighter so I don't I just want it to gently apply to the skin but it's so beautiful. And then I'll take my finger and put it on just the lid. It's like the perfect mix of like a light bronze antique gold that works really well for me. Just gonna do my brows. I did pick up a Gimme Brow by Benefit because my eyebrows are starting to grow back a little bit. And it really does help them to stay in place because I have to retrain these new hairs because they're going everywhere. I also bleached my brows recently I just do it with like a 20 devo developer and um, those like buckets of bleach. Just be careful because if you get it into your eye, it's not a good thing. But I've been doing it for so long, I'm, I'm pretty good at it now. But I feel like when you bleach your brows or do anything to your brows, it changes like the whole look. I also dyed my hair a little bit deeper. But it's just because I'm bored. And I also want to try to get my hair healthy again. So I love like a slightly darker color with a lighter brow. I think it's a really beautiful look. Oh cool, now there's dogs. Okay, so this is, I got just like the mini version because I'm not, I'm poor. And I'll brush up here in the front of them and then I kind of have to go sideways then I can brush them back up again because I have a bunch of bald spots in my eyebrows and everywhere. 
Aging is cool. And then if I need to, I can go back in and fill in any of those gaps. Like I have one like right over here. Use a big one. Ah, see, all gone. So you can use mascara with this look. You can add eyeliner to it. Since the lip is so brilliant, I feel like you don't even really need mascara. Some people always want to wear mascara, but this would be like a daytime look for me on like my days off when I'm just running around because it takes like five minutes to do. You look all dewy and gorgeous. Yeah, so I'll just, this is a MAC one. Just curl your, curl your brow and you're good. Okay, so for the lip. This is the lip color that Camille Bro is wearing in the inside my wardrobe. It's such a perfect color. I like a more of a yellow undertone to um, to my red sometimes. And this is not red, it's not orange, it's a color I've never seen before. Plus the formula, you can put it on as a stain, but if you put a few layers on, it's highly pigmented after a few layers. Very sheer when the first layer. I first put it on, I was like, ooh. But then I put more layers on, it stays glossy, it gives you a stain to the lip. At last, I had it on for like six hours, and if I'm not like kissing someone, okay, Josh. Um, then it will just stay glossy. I've never had a gloss or lipstick stay glossy. Um, I don't want to alter the color, but I do overdraw my lips, so I am going in with some Spice Lip Pencil by MAC. Something a little different. I usually will draw in my Cupid's bow, like really intense, but I've been watching other um, makeup tutorials and I really like that almost like you've just been like kissing a little bit, you know, nothing too intense, but more of a, not smudge, but a softer lip line. And I like that fuller upper lip look, and I find that if you don't like really draw in the cupid's bow, it gives the illusion that your lips are softer and, and more plump. See, I love that. Ooh. Okay. So this lip is the Giorgio Armani um, number tangerine, number tangerine, number 300 tangerine. It is just so perfect. So that's just one coat, but if you give it a second to dry and then throw on a few more coats, you'll see it's, oh, uh, and it feels kind of like a gel. It's like, it honestly, like I've never experienced <laughs> this kind of like texture, shine, color. It's perfect. And using a nude um, lip pencil, it kind of just adds like a little bit of depth. And, sorry, I'm reading like text. <laughs> um, it adds like a little bit of depth, but doesn't really alter the color. Uh, 
I just love this. So this is the wand that it comes with. It, it, you can get a lot of product on the wand. You don't need it. I'll just usually like take a little bit off because you want to do thin layers because you want them to dry in between to um, layers on top of it itself. But this shine does not go away. <laughs> it's so beautiful. And that's the packaging. Very chic, gorgeous. So this is the finished look. And if you did want to wear mascara, if you wanted to put liner, um, this is just a good place to start. I did pick up another shade of this because I do love a nude lip. I find if you have like a deep burgundy, uh, red, and a nude, you're pretty good. You're set. And then there's all these, you know, different um, colors that lie in between, like a blue red, an orange red, an orange. But if you have those three basics, I feel like that with nail polish too, that you're you're good. You're set. But this, I think, is my favorite red, orange, tomato, I don't know. It's just so, so good. So I did pick up uh, a nude one too, and I'll do that in another video, but it does the same thing. It, I, I can't say enough about it. It's expensive, they're $38, but I um, will, Maybe not, I don't know how to say this. Well, okay, for, well, I went to Spectrum because they told me that if I bundle my landline, which I don't need, and my internet, that it would be cheaper. And I'm such a gullible person, so I was like, oh, okay. And then I talked to someone who worked for <laughs> Spectrum, and they're like, no, that's not a thing. So I went there, and they took $20 off of my bill because I didn't have a landline. And um, so really, it was like $28. <laughs> <laughs> I will find a way to get something that I really, really love. But I am going to wear the crap out of this. So, Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. Um, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Um, comment below some of your favorite uh, lip products that have blown your mind. And I will um, see you in my next video. Yeah, and also give me ideas if there's anything that else that you want to see. Because, uh, I don't know, these videos I love and I watch all the time. Like, tutorials, everything I've ever learned, I learned on YouTube. So, um, yeah, if there's any way I can help you, the way that YouTube has helped me, please let me know. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.